my vision. I'm not always gonna say things the perfect way, the right way, but I'm gonna say how I feel. Right now, I will prepare. Right now, press, get ready to write your passive aggressive LeBron James racist comments. Season four, racist comments. Get ready to have a field day, press. Get ready, get ready, because the show's over. Begin, though, with the latest on Kanye West. We're learning more about his breakdown, what was going on before he was hospitalized. West is now getting a psychiatric evaluation in Los Angeles. ABC's Diane Macedo has all the new details. Good morning, Diane. George, good morning. West was being treated for sleep deprivation when his doctor reportedly called 911 saying he was psychotic. Now a famous friend of Kanye's is speaking out saying he saw warning signs. This morning, new details are emerging about Kanye West's alleged mental state as he was rushed to the hospital. Heard on this fire department dispatch call obtained by TMZ. Rescue 41, psychiatric emergency, Moral Avenue. The 911 call came in around 1.20 p.m. on Monday after West was reportedly acting erratically. Paramedics and the Los Angeles Fire Department rushed to the Hollywood home of his personal trainer, where according to TMZ, officials spoke with West for 90 minutes before following protocol for a psychiatric patient, restraining him and taking him to UCLA Medical Center for an evaluation. The doctor called 911 and said that Kanye was suffering a temporary psychosis uh, as a result of a lack of sleep and exhaustion. Now fans wonder if the emergency caused his abrupt decision to cancel the remaining 21 appearances of his St. Pablo tour. Just 48 hours earlier, the entertainer arrived at his Sacramento concert over an hour late and sang only two songs before this happened. Stop, 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 stop it. West ranting for over 15 minutes on everything from the election to even Beyonce and Jay-Z. Jay It was uncharacteristic of him, but that aside, you know, to cancel a month and a half's worth of tours when a lot of money is on the line, something is pretty wrong here. Longtime friend and collaborator John Legend says he saw the warning signs and was concerned by West's recent behavior. We were with Kim actually, you know, right before all of that. I was concerned by what I saw, so hopefully. He's getting some rest and some time to figure things out. In his last interview before being hospitalized, West tells Surface Magazine that he's uncompromising as an artist. And I refuse to negotiate. I can collaborate, but, you know, I'm an artist, so as soon as you negotiate, you're being compromised. And Kim Kardashian is said to be by her husband's side, but so far no comment from either of their camps. The E! Network, which airs her reality show, also confirms they did not film the 911 call and are not filming at the hospital. So it sounds like they're going through this in relative privacy, at least for them. Oh, great concern. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Grab my pen and write raps defending the prophecies. I'm not the pastor's friend that ain't mastered in this theology. Slave masters can ain't have to sin an apology. So know the man of sin can be grafted into this olive tree. At school, we ain't learn about the Persians and Medes. They send us to school to learn about the birds and the bees. Cause under heathen watch, evil plots turn to decrees. Under heathen watch, even cops turn into thieves. Nigga, that's how it is on the wild, wild west. Not until the heaven hits the earth will I find my rest. Give all praise to the most high God, Yahweh. And the name is only begotten son of Mashiach Yahavashai. This is your time with the Sakari. Back with another quick video. And um, I guess Elon Musk owns Twitter now, so Kanye's back on it. And he's back to dropping bombs again, man. You see this dude right here? This is his personal trainer, all right? And I guess he's this big Hollywood trainer. I would trainer. tour with a lot of hip-hop clients. I was touring with Kanye West. And we'd play basketball all the time. And they would have to stop the games to laugh at me because I was so bad. <laughs> And one time I was, we were playing with Kanye and Jay-Z and Common and a couple other people. And I was covering Jay-Z and he was covering me. And he laughed so hard. I mean, I, I'll never forget it. And I just said, I'm going to learn how to play. Our guest today is a fitness and nutrition specialist and boasts the largest celebrity client roster in the industry. He's worked with the likes of Kanye West, Lady Gaga, Rihanna, Halle Berry, Katy Perry, Megan Fox, Kim Kardashian, Alicia Keys, and many, many more. Harley has starred on Revenge Body with Khloe Kardashian and is a regular contributor on Good Morning America. For a sneak peek into the world of superstardom, please join me in welcoming celebrity trainer, fitness and nutrition specialist, and best-selling author, Harley Pasternak, 
to the Escape Your Limits podcast. Man, well, part of this whole coalition of people that Kanye West was talking about. This is this is crazy. Now, in the beginning of this video, I put up there that time when Kanye West dropped the mic and said, show's over. I put that up there because after that show, remember, Kanye West got taken to the hospital. They came and arrested him and took him to the hospital. The next time we seen him, he was with Donald Trump and he had blonde hair. You know what I'm saying? Um, this guy right here is in connection with that because he's the one that called the police on Kanye West and had them take him to the hospital and he admits it right here. See, this, this see, like I said, I don't got to agree with everything Kanye West says, but we can't lie and act like he hasn't came and exposed this whole entire thing for those who didn't know this was already going on. And for those of us who did know, it shows it a lot more clear than we even knew it worked, right? This is guy is a damn, what is, this guy's a, a personal trainer that probably never played a sport, but he's able to be a personal trainer for all the rich people in Hollywood, but he's really working behind the scenes for the, for the, for the people above him. Man, this is crazy, right? So look, well, first, let me read the article, the old article real quick. Now, look at this. Remember this on TMZ? And we know who owns TMZ. It says, Kanye West hospitalized, handcuffed in an ambulance. That was after his show. He got handcuffed and put in an ambulance. I'm like, huh? And it's crazy because the whole time I was wondering, I'm like, who could have called the the hospital to make them come and arrest him and, and take him to the hospital? But now we know why. This, now we know why he was looking weird when he came back uh, with the blonde hair with Donald Trump. It's because he was... He was Just friends, just friends, and uh, it's a good man. He's been doing well. Long time. We've been friends for a long time. Life. We discussed it. It's because he was he was he was under medication. Oh, this is unbelievable, man. So it's like when you sign a deal with these people, they're able to put all types of weird people around you. Who? Oh my God, this guy. Okay, let's just read this real quick. It says, Kanye West has been taken to UCLA Medical Center for psychiatric evaluation. This is in 2016. It says, according to law enforcement sources, cops responded to a call for a welfare check on Kanye around 1.20 p.m. Pacific time. It says, he was at his trainer, Harley Pasternick's home, at the time and was acting erratically. It says, we're told police called LA Fire and by the time paramedics arrived, Kanye was calmer, but still resistant to going to the hospital. Like how the hell can your trainer call you and make and make you go to the hospital? You're like, what the hell are they talking about? He was resistant? So would you guys, so they forced him to the hospital. It says, his management and law enforcement convinced him it was best to go. It says, law enforcement sources tell us Kanye was handcuffed to a gurney during the transport to the hospital as standard protocol. Yeah, right. It's standard protocol to handcuff you to a gurney. And, and what world is that protocol? But you see who, who called him, this damn trainer. And you see TMZ then wrote it up to say, oh, these guys all agreed to do it. Well, if, he, if, they, if they convinced him, why does he got to be handcuffed? These guys came and arrested him and made him go to the hospital so they could drug him up. Now, let's get to the story real quick. So Kanye said, I was told that if I expose the truth of bad business practices, everything is going to be taken from me, including my black children. It says, and everyone has bore witness to the public image telling of Ye. It says, but God has put something in my heart not to back down. So this is what we're talking about right here. Harley Samuel Pasternak is a Canadian-American personal trainer, motivational speaker, author, television host, and spitter. It says, Pasternak is known for his books, The Body, Re the Body Reset Diet and The Five Factor and the Five Factor Diet, along with working with many celebrity clients as a personal trainer. Let's see if he talks to the other celebrity clients like this. Or maybe, the, yeah, this is commonplace according to Kanye, right? So look at this. It says, this shows Harley, which was the dude we just looked at, admitting to knowing the truth of our origin, but then later dismissing the facts within the same text chain. It says, mind you, this is how a Hollywood trainer speaks to a far more influential black celebrity when we get out of line. Now look at this. Now, I can't read the part where the mark is at, but he wanted us to see this part. Your origins might be Jewish, all right? So this is what Harley, the Jewish guy, is telling Kanye. I can't see what it says, but it says, no, your mother was, and her mother, and her mother. It says, it's about how you act, how you think, and how you treat others. It says, I will do anything, anything, if you could please apologize to my people. Kanye's response is, it's my people too. <laughs> he said, okay, I love that, right? So then he says, 
I'm going to help. Now, listen, this is what this trainer said. This, <laughs> like I said, man, look at what this dude, look what this devil says. Just like Dave Chappelle, when these guys told him behind the scenes, what, what the fuck do we need you for? So these guys can get on TV and smile and act all nice. But when you're with them and nobody's with, and nobody can see, they say these little slick things. And this is showing it. So it says, I'm hoping to help you one of a couple ways. This is, this is what Harley says. It says, first, you and I sit down and have a long and open conversation, but you don't, uh, it says you don't cuss, it, it says you don't use cuss words, and everything that is discussed is based on fact and not some crazy stuff that dumb friend of yours told you or you saw in a tweet. Here's the kicker. It says second option. This is the second option that he's going to help him. I have you institutionalized again where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever. It says play date with the kids just won't be the same. Do you see the games that these devils play? Meanwhile, just like uh, uh, Michael Rapp report, these guys sitting there asking him all these questions about how his mom, knowing his mom's dead. How's your mom doing? Oh, how would your mom, what would your mom say about that? And, and, and here's the kicker with, with Satan. It says, and even with all of that said, it says, I still have lots of love in my heart for you, and my doors are always open. This is what the devil is saying to him. But what part of the game is it where a billionaire, this guy gets to talk to a billionaire like that and tell him he's going to have him institutionalized again where they medicate him. He goes back to zombie land forever. So he's admitting that he's the reason for that. And so Kanye's not like, oh, wee, 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 wee. So yeah, like I said, it's not going to be long, but uh, hey, hey. We're just going to keep on reporting on these things as it comes. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Once again, he's not lying. He didn't prove it. This trainer gets to run around and, and institutionalize him and get him medicated. It's crazy. I mean, if you guys can't see that we're in the last days, it's, if you guys can't see what's going on, it's crazy. This, this, this whole thing is just these people showing you the world that you're getting ready to go into, the world that they're trying to create for you. The world where you do what we say to do or we turn you off. That's what this is all about. And it all basically just goes to that chip. You guys take this chip or we're turning you off. You don't like it, we're going to demonize you. All this is just one big thing leading up to that chip. And the Lord, he, he's lifting up these people's skirts and letting everybody see what's going on. This is off the chain, man. But this is the world that we're in. It's not a game. Till the next one, Shalom.